What is going on, Sheeb Army? This is your boy Random Arts coming with a quick video. So as you could see, it is red. There is blood in the street. Not really, but the mar overall market it is red. As you can see, Bitcoin currently is down 2.97% on the day. Overall, 6.48% uh, on the week. Um, the global crypto market cap is at 1.247 trillion. Um, so if you look at the Bitcoin dominance, it's only 46%. Um, as where all the other altcoin are actually um, actually leading the way. So let's go to Sheeb. Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu is currently down 6.79%. So, you know, it's down. Market is down. Shiba's down. Like, it is to be expected. But still, there's a, still a lot of upcoming catalyst that's still in the woodwork for the overall market you have the b word get that the b word which is coming up on 721 so literally in you know in three days two days I'm sorry in two days we're gonna have that event um not to mention we're gonna find out if Apple on the 27, if Apple did indeed buy $2.5 billion worth of Bitcoin, um, because Apple's earnings report that comes out, let's see here, when does, it should be the 27th, unless, just in case they, just take a look, just in case if they didn't change it. But yeah, schedule it right here on the 27th. After the market close, which is in eight days, so we'll find that out. Uh, we also have the Shiba party, which is happening on the 20th and 21st. So that's tomorrow. So definitely still some upcoming catalyst for crypto in general. Um, another thing, too, that just came out is today was the first... Uh, well, really, Sunday was the first day where you're able to actually trade options for Bitcoin. So right now we have some bears that bought some puts for Bitcoin. They bought 22K puts and 20K puts. So a put is just, uh, if you don't know what a put is, a put is just, they believe that the price of Bitcoin is actually going to decrease. And... Not to make it, you know, all drawn out, but they predict that, you know, Bitcoin is going to get into the 22,000, 20,000. And if they do, since it's so far away, if they do, that's when they'll actually start to see um, some huge gains if it actually gets there. So that really means nothing. I mean, that's a speculative uh, position, in my opinion, because it's so far out of the money. Um, if it was like in the money, in the money would be like if uh, they did a put for thirty one thousand, because right now Bitcoin is at thirty thousand. So since this is so far out the money, this is I I just believe it's just a hedge fund um, reaching just to try to get you know a couple of billions of dollars based upon Bitcoin potentially dropping um, to that mark. Um, nothing to be worried about. Only time that I would be truly, truly worried is if Bitcoin indeed cracked below 19,000. If it cracked below 19,000, then I would have some concerns because typically, and I'll pull it back up so that way you guys can see it. Typically, for Bitcoin, it once it goes on its bull run, it typically does not retrace past its previous breakout area. So Bitcoin's previous breakout area was 19,000. So if it cracks below 19,000, 
then yeah, I would be a little concerned. So, right here. What? No, sorry. Right here. So if it cracks below here, then I would be a little bit concerned, be a little bit worried because Bitcoin is the driving force for the market of crypto until a new sector leader arises. Right now, Bitcoin is the leader. You know, whatever Bitcoin do, that's what generally a lot of the other alts are going to do. But I don't foresee that uh, happening. But then again, anything can happen. But I believe if it does get, you know, in the 20s, you're going to see a lot of institution coming in just to try to buy the dip. Um, so another thing too to point out on this, you have a couple of, this is a major, in my opinion, it is a major support area because you have a pullback here and it bounced. Another pullback here. Matter of fact, here's the first one. You have a pullback here, bounce. Came back again, bounce. Came back again, it bounced. Now, on the other hand, it comes back down here again, it bounces. Try to come again, it bounce, it bounce. You have another bounce, and you have another bounce. Now it is approaching it. So technically, this caused a couple of bottoms. You know, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm just counting the wicks. So it tested this about nine different times. So nine different times, and it has not fallen below. So if it does fall below, then everyone who bought above 30, they're pretty much bagged. Um, and what I mean by bag is that they become bag holders as far as like holding their position. Um, but then again, you know, shouldn't worry too much. Only time to be worried is if Bitcoin crosses below this mark. But other than that, guys, that's all I have for you today. This is Random Arts signing off. Peace.